Hello again, it's Mr. Green, and this is part two of Art in the Heart. Earlier we demoed how to do the human figure using eight heads as our measurement. Right now I'm going to show you something that people have a lot of difficulty with, and that is drawing the human face, or human head that is. So, grab your pencils, your paper, and let's come on along. First thing you want to do is take a look at your paper, and be uh, advised of its space, how much space you're working with. And we're going to be loose with the pencil. And everybody's head is a little bit different, but typically it's a standard oval shape. So we're going to do an oval. And real loose with the pencil here. Just do an oval. Okay? It's kind of like an egg. Okay? So here we have it. And then, the side of the head, I'm going to use this as our measurement. And then both at the same time here. See, I'm just being light here. We're going to do two circles this time because it's on the top of the head and then somewhat of an oval shape bottom here. Okay. And we, I know this is kind of sketchy and that's fine because it's practice. It's where our neckline would go. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started on the head. I'm going to draw my measurement lines clean through. Okay, so what you want to do first is divide it, just a little bit at the top here, as you can see, then straight down the middle, straight down the middle like this. It's going to be our divider lines, okay? This is where our eyes are going to fall. Usually make a triangle right here. Believe it or not, your eyes are about one eye space apart, so I'm going to put a mark here for where my pupils will go. Mark here for where my pupils will go, okay? That's where the nose line is going to go, okay? So, looking at that, we'll start off and we'll do the eyes. The eyes are yet, again, a circle or oval shape. So here's a circle. It's one. That's two. And if you look, it's almost an eye space in between. That's what you can use as your measurement. Okay? So now, this triangle is where the end of the nose is. And the nose is like an M. Okay, typically it's like that. More of a variation of it, but we'll just say kind of like an L. So we're gonna put that in there. You can follow along, and as you know, practice makes perfect. And then let's put the eyes in. So I'm gonna put the pupils in. You know, that's a circle. And I like to look at it and measure it off by viewing one and then viewing the other. And you're just kind of mirroring your image. Okay. So then that. Here's the eye line for the eyebrow. Get in there, put those pupils in. Okay, I'm gonna flesh my face out a little bit and give it a little shape. Here's my, where my cheek line would be. Still being sketchy here, practice makes perfect. Okay, so here's a bridge in my nose. Take that line down. And it depends on the type of face you're trying to draw. I have to give an in-depth lesson on eyes at a later date, but for this one, we're just trying to get the shape of the face down so you can get your measurements correct. Okay. Now if you look, typically the top of your ears fall right around here. I'm gonna double that on the other side. Yeah, and I know this face has kind of a surprise look here. Might have to increase the head size a little bit. It's got a small forehead, but that's all right. So now, there's a little divot here where your lips will fall. I'm going to give them another M for the mouth. See, it's kind of like an M shape here, but elongated, similar to that. have some full lips going on and that's fine okay I'm still being sketchy here and that's fine let's add a little detail so we can flesh things out here's your eyebrow or your eyelid rather back to that eyebrow blow that up some 
Okay. A little bit of dimension here. Bring that face out some. Okay. Bring those cheeks in some. That chin. And we're throwing a little bit of facial hair here. Some of you are going to crack on me and say this looks a little bit like me, but I don't think so. It's okay if you do. Here's our eyebrow. And yet again, this is sketchy, but gives you an idea of where things fall. Remember your measurements here. This triangle and the space between the eyes. The lips fall usually almost about where the pupils start. Or not the pupils, but the iris of the eye. This first circle is an eye here. Let's darken that up some. Okay. Now we're going to take it up into the hairline. Give them a little bit of a fro here. And as you can see, I'm using a couple of different sketching techniques just to fill this out for the purpose of the video. Be advised of your measurements here. All right. And he's kind of got like a blank expression, and that's okay because this is just for you to get an idea of how to lay this out. Different styles vary. This is just a technique that I've been using for quite some time now. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to make that as symmetrical as possible so you want to look at it. And you notice I'm, I'm being light on the eraser here. I haven't used it because sometimes some of those straight lines come in handy. Okay. So there's my semi police mug shot. Eyelid. Like I said, I have to give you a. There's another tutorial that I'm going to do on the human eye help you out with that and there you have your face okay the same technique can be applied to the side I'm using the same measurement lines here so we know that's where the top of the ear will go and this is going to be a circle or a semi-circle if you will ears are very delicate and intricate items to draw in back of his head needs to be a little bit wider here so we're going to widen that out. Taking this line over, see where it falls into the brow line and there's a dip right here. Okay, And that same dip should correspond, the reason why I line these up so that you can see them, to where his nose would go. You see that shape right there. We'll zoom in on that. Okay, Same technique, here's the eye eyebrow so I'm going to take this line over that's my measurement and now it's basically what you saw before but from the side okay. still being sketchy it's okay put this little nostril in there's that divot. Let's see if we can make it match up. Yep. And then this is where the lips will fall. That's where his chin will go. These two pictures are gonna kind of merge a little bit, and that's okay. Here's the jawline. Hear that pencil on the page? Sometimes you gotta get rough with it, and that's okay. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time. Practice, practice, and more practice. There is no saying such thing as perfect when it comes to artwork. Still sketchy and that's fine. And once you've done this, you can go in and clean things up as you see fit. I'm gonna give him a little stubble down here. And then here's his mustache. Okay, keep those measurements in line. You see how I've lined both of them up? 
And it matches up pretty well. He's got a thin neck here, but we can do something about that. Okay, see the ears line, eyes line, the nose line, lip line. Okay, so you want to try that. And again, I'm going to refresh you. But remember, you're going to start off with an oval. Here's your oval. Use this as your baseline. Same, same lesson, but speed style. There's actually two circles. Well, circle here, semi-circle here. These are your, your bases. And as you can see, I'm zooming through it, but this is what you call a gesture or speed drawing. Here's my measurements. Remember that triangle. Here's the ear, the ear, the nose falls. And some people say it looks like magic, but it's just practice. Here's your eyebrow. And this is a very rough, but your mind's eye, you can see it as a face. And that's what we want. Okay, same thing. Let's take that line over. Here's that ear. Circle, semi-circle. That divot that we spoke about. Here's the nose, mouth. Here's the chin coming in. You can see that shape coming out. I'm just using shadows here to define different things very quickly for you. I'll show you that this can be done on many different scales because obviously this is a lot smaller than this up here. Okay. And I want you to practice that. Practice, practice, practice. And you'll be getting your portraits and profiles in no time at all. So this concludes the second lesson, Victor Green's Art in the Heart, on how to draw and measure the human face and head.